Hi guys, today I thought of taking a making a short video on how much I spent on my masters and also what will be the how to calculate your tuition fees in US. This is the main topic which we are going to see now and uh, basically in every university you will be having a um, thing called per credit hour fees. So that's nothing but uh, for one credit hour it will be 1250 and in your university they will say you need to complete 30 credit hours or 33 credit hours like that. So basically any subject whichever you take it will be 3 credits, uh, some will be 2 and some will be 1 but most uh, mostly 3 credits, uh, one course will be of 3 credits. So basically how uh, we used to take is we will be studying 3 semesters of 9, 9 credits which will be 27 credit and in the final semester you will be studying only one subject, only one subject so it will be 30 credits. So in my case, uh, in my university need to, I need to study 30 uh, credit hours for completing my masters and my credit hour fees is 1250 and so this will be the totaling amount uh, what I need to pay for my masters education. Out of that I got $6,000 scholarship so it come down to $31,500. Apart from that you also need to pay your insurance for 2 years which I guess many people won't say but the insurance will be coming around anywhere between 2000 to 3000 and again it depends on your age too and apart from that on the insurance plan whichever you are taking it so it will be around 2000 to 3000 roughly so i didn't consider any of my ta or ra experience in this i'll be coming to that later so in this let's say you are getting an internship basically uh, as i told you before how we will be studying our masters is you will be studying uh, the 30 credits in four semester which is like one semester you will be taking nine credits basically three subjects so nine credits in first two semester it is like 18 credits and in the last two semester in the third semester you will take again a nine credit and in the final semester you will be taking one subject which will be three credit so this is the basic way which most of the student will study unless and until you are going for an internship or co-op it doesn't change so in my case, uh, first two semester I took uh, 18 credit. So that come around 22,500 and uh, I have a $4,500 scholarship for the first two semester. So it came to $18,000. So in this, this amount I, played com I paid completely. But uh, after completing this two semester, I got an internship. So after this, I won't take any um, any money from India, from my loan or from my parents, nothing I'll be taking. So that's all my tuition and uh, my fees. In this, I need to also include one more thing, which I forget. I also paid some $1,400 of my uh, insurance. So if I am including that, it will come around 19400 so this is my fees which is around 15 lakh or 16 lakh uh, it doesn't cross over it and uh, from now onwards i can pay my uh, whatever the tuition fee i need to pay so if i consider how much i am paying for my masters which is going to be 15 lakh which is much more in my opinion that is uh, not so common in many university but if you are selecting your university very properly like i put one video for university selection also which you can go through and check uh, how to select university and stuff so if you have time you can check that but basically if you are uh, considering the university uh, on the basis of their tuition cost and also the cost of living you can find a very good university uh, which you won't spend a lot of money because i had few friends who were studying in uh, uh, texas a and m university they are also paying around 10,000 per semester, $10,000 per semester. So which is same like University of Florida and it is in a good reputed college too. Uh, so basically guys, if you are going for a very top notch university or a private university, uh, your fees is going to be slight higher than many other university. But if you are selecting it very carefully uh, based on multiple factors, then you can end up in a very good university and also you can spend a very less expense on your masters and uh, all right guys this is what i wanted to share and uh, i hope it will be useful for you in some way and uh, if you like the video please do like it and uh, if you want to know about some other stuff please leave your comment below
Thank you. Bye. We'll meet you at the next video.